Hello boys, I just wanted to make a quick video to share with you what is possibly, in fact, what is definitely one of the greatest productivity hacks that I have to offer. I know, I know, every self-improvement YouTube has already made like five videos with the title greatest productivity hack ever. I think I have as well, at least a couple of them. But this is honestly the first productivity hack that I ever used. And it's something that I still use to this day. In fact, I would say it's the, it's the most integral part of my entire routine. It's the most fundamental concept behind everything that I do throughout the day. So let's begin. The greatest hack to increase your productivity is to decrease the amount of time you give to yourself to work. Let me repeat that. The greatest hack to increase your productivity is to decrease, not increase, but decrease the amount of time you give to yourself to work. The Parkinson's law is what lends itself to this hack. The law states that work expands to fill the amount of time allotted for its completion. Let me share with you my example. In fact, let me tell you the first routine that I ever set for myself. Don't worry, it won't take it won't take long. The first routine I ever set for myself was to sit down to study at 8 a.m. and study till 8 p.m. This was my first routine. What I what didn't take me too long to realize was that this definitely wasn't the most optimal, the most efficient way for me to work. I remember I gradually, over weeks, started to decrease, started to pull back the end time of this routine that I'd set for myself. So it, it went from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. to 8 a.m. to 6 to 5 to 4. And I remember it reached the point where I was working for four hours a day and not even in one go. I was working from 8 to 10 and then 12 to 2, I think. And here's the thing, here's the kicker. Here's what I could never have anticipated, never have expected. In these four hours a day, I was getting done more than I was in the 12 hours that I was giving myself earlier. Let me know if you'd like for me to get into why this is and all the principles, all the concepts involved in this. But uh, let, let, let's just keep this video, this one for the protocol for exactly what to do. Let me share with you another example, a more recent example. For the longest time, the one thing I was struggling with the most with my routine was inability. Not, you know, not, not doing the right thing sometimes or quite often. Inability. I was incapable, I was just unable to ever spend my afternoons productively. If you've seen any of my videos, you know, you, you know I'm, a, I'm one of the biggest proponents of a routine, of you know, having a routine for yourself, having a timetable for yourself to help you with your productivity. That in of itself, by the way, productivity hack number two, set a routine for yourself, right? So since morning, I remember I, and I, I it, like thinking back, it, it baffles me how, I di how it didn't strike me earlier. But my, uh, this is what my routine used to look like, right? I won't get into the specifics of it, but from, from uh, I, I started waking up at about six at one point, yeah. And so I was waking up at six and until 2 p.m., I think it was, I had everything structured, every hour and a half to two hours was structured for a different thing. So within these eight hours, I was getting done with meditation and journaling and gratitude journaling and stretching and an ab workout and spending about an hour and a half with my family and about three to four hours of deep work and the gym and coming back and eating healthy. This is what I got done within these eight hours. The problem was that after these eight hours, I was, I just would not be able to do, to do anything productive after that. It's not that I was tired per se, but I, I just didn't, for the longest time I couldn't pinpoint what the problem was. I was just, because my routine said, okay, from two to, I, I used to have dinner at seven at that point. So 
from two to seven reading time or you know just or just spending that time productively either read or you or listen to some audio books or watch some educational informative podcasts that was what that time was allotted for for the longest time i remember for literally for more than a, for more than two to three months i was not productive for these for these for these five hours at the end of the day and i remember one day it just clicked one day i said as, as just as i was sitting down just as yeah, i you know it was about to turn to i said instead of thinking instead of trying to be productive for the next 5 hours let me just say okay let me do good for the next 2 hours so i changed my routine for that day and i said okay for today from 2 to 4 i have to read okay we'll see what to do after that from 2 to 4 i have to read and for the first time in months i spent that time actually reading at 4 i was still not very tired i was still fresh so i said okay from 4 to 5 now let me let me not even push push it to 6 now right i mean i'm i'm somewhat tired so from 4 to 5 let me watch some educational some informative podcast i did that as well i didn't push myself any further after that i didn't try to spend 5 to 7 productively as well i said okay i'll give you give you these 2 hours off now you've done very well today so with just that one thought with that one mindset change I don't think after that I ever skipped productivity between you know I ever I ever skipped my 2 to 4 or 2 to 5 time doing unproductive shit because it's it's almost a magical feeling man so when I when I used to sit down on my table at 8 a.m. and tell myself okay I have to study till 8 p.m. now I have to study for the next 12 hours you're not working at the top yeah at the peak of your ability you're not really pushing yourself but if you say i okay i'm sitting down at 8 i have to i i, I only have until 9:30 i have to get up after that i promise you you will not have seen a change in productivity the way you will with this one protocol just pull back the time just make it easier for yourself i'll tell you what happened today morning so every morning i have a very fixed a very structured time for myself right where so now uh, my first deep work bout starts at 5:30 so 5:30 to 7 is my first bout 7 my dad's getting ready for the office my brother's getting ready for school so that's the time i usually spend with them today is a sunday so none of that happening i thought okay you know let, let me give myself a little longer my the intention the plan was to be a little more productive than usual so i said okay i'm starting at 5:30 let me sit till around 8 9 right let me just grind out a script let me just get done with a good amount of work today i ended up i i did i did sit from 5:30 till 8:30 i sat for 3 hours i sat for double the amount of time i usually sit for and i didn't get done with even half of what i usually get done in one bout that is the hack not only will you get done as much as you were in half the time you will get done more than you ever were because as soon as you introduce that intensity right how do you introduce intensity by reducing the time you either reduce the time or yeah that's the only way you reduce the time and you say okay i only have this much time if you go to the gym and you tell yourself okay i have 5 hours to gym today what kind of a session do you think you'll have the only reason for that intensity that you feel when you go to the gym i hope you feel that because it's one of the most beautiful feelings that we can experience you only feel that intensity because you know that okay i only have an hour until i have to leave so you make the most of that hour right do the same with everything that you're doing throughout the course of the day reading journaling meditation anything and everything tell yourself okay i have this much time to do this if you feel like it if at the end of it you still if you still are hungry for more if you still want to do more by all means extend the time right but never sit down to do something and tell yourself that okay i have more i have more than 2 hours to do this the biggest mistake you can make the worst mistake you can make for productivity is to is to sit down to work is to sit down to do anything and tell yourself okay i'm going to do this for the next 3 4 5 hours try this and drop me a comment tell me how this works out for you 
statistically, only about 30 to 35 percent of people are still watching at this point, the last few minutes of the video, that is. So I would like to start thinking of this section, these last few minutes of my videos as our own little private inner circle meetings, right? So, well, welcome to our first inner circle meeting, the agenda of which is to get your feedback on what you think of these kind of videos. As you must have noticed, I tried something new, something a little different with this video. This is the first video that I've ever put out that's completely unscripted, that's completely unprepared, where I just turned on the camera, spoke my mind, shared with you what I wanted to say, and tried to have a heart to heart where I can just, you know, where we have a conversation instead of it having to be a script. So the idea, the thought behind it is that I want to push myself. Uh, that has gotten comfortable for me at this point, right? And and what I'm, and of course, being a self improvement channel, I want to put push myself out of the comfort. That's gotten comfortable for me. That I any idea that I have, anything that I want to share with you, I just put it in a pile or list of hundreds of video ideas that I have. I have about five that I'm that I'm almost done with. About fifteen to twenty that are that are that are one step behind it, a few or, or, or a little more than 20, one stage behind that, and about 60 to 70 videos that are just at the starting stage where I just know what I want to share with you and I've not worked upon any of the rest of the script. While there is a place for those kind of videos, where because the thing with those videos is they give, they give me the confidence that I've, I have done justice, I have given my best to every second of your time that you're giving to me, right? That I have spent hours working upon every second of that video that you're consuming. But there's also a place for these unfiltered, these authentic heart-to-heart -heart kind of videos, right? Where you just want to share a mindset. But because I had created this illusion of red tape of bureaucracy, where any idea, anything that I wanted to speak to you about, anything I wanted to share with you, any hack, any mindset, I had to put it in that pile and then figure out a hook, an intro and a conclusion and a story and all of that, right? Like I said, there is a place for that, but you also sometimes just want to have a heart to heart. You sometimes just want to turn on the camera, share what's on your mind, share something that, you know, it often happens that something that, that I experienced, like for example, I shared with you what I experienced today, right? That today I broke out my routine today, I broke out of that, that, you know, that limited period, that limited amount of time that I'd given myself to work for. So today, when I'm sharing this with you, I it's completely fresh. I have it in my mind because it's the realization that I had. It's the, oh, fuck, I made a mistake. So it's very easy for me to share that mistake, that failure with you and help you not make it. But now if I put it in a pile, there's a good chance that I look at it two weeks, a month later, and I think, wait, is this really that important? And then I scrap that and I end up working upon something else. I don't want to have to do that, right? So please tell me what do you think of these kind of videos. For 100%, there is no doubt about it. This I'm, I'm sure I know that this wasn't as good at it as it could be, right? And that is something that I want to work upon. This is the first unfiltered, unscripted video that I have ever recorded. And I'm giving it to you. I'm putting it out for you to watch, for you to watch me grow. The way you've seen me grow and improve with my scripted videos, you'll see me improve and grow with my unscripted videos as well. So please, I would love, love, love to hear anything you have to say about these. Please give me your feedback. Please give me your thoughts on this. I look forward to hearing from you. Make your dreams a reality one day at a time, boys. I will see you in the next one.